Here's how you can build an animated subscribe logo like the one you see here. The first thing you need to do is add a blank title to the main timeline. Then double tap on the clip. Open the clip editor, select the text by tapping on it, and then just delete it. Next, you'll want to tap on the plus sign and add a shape. Just a simple rectangle will do. Resize the rectangle so that it fills the entire screen. Don't worry if the edges go off screen. Then tap on face color and select blue. Tap the back arrow and select another title. Drop it on top of the blue screen. Double tap that new title and remove the text. Tap on the plus sign once again and tap shape. I'm going to add another rectangle and stretch it across the screen. This will represent the red rectangle you usually see in most subscribe logos. Although they appear in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can build this one in the center of the screen. It will make it easier for the next step. I'll show you how to reposition it later in the video. Change the face color to red. The next step is to animate the rectangle. Select Frame and Fit, and then tap on Cropping. Since we want the rectangle to go from left to right, I'm going to crop the rectangle from the right until it disappears off the screen. Then I'll insert a keyframe by tapping the plus sign underneath the start time of this video clip. A blue dot will appear. Then I'll play the clip for about a second, pause it once more, and then undo the crop that I just did by pulling the right slider back to the white notch so that I can see the red rectangle once again. Once I undo the crop, notice that a second keyframe will be automatically added. If you don't see a keyframe, tap the plus sign underneath the start time of this clip once more to add it manually. Now I'll tap on the back arrow and take a look at that in the preview window. That looks great. Now I'll grab one more plain title and drop it on top of the red rectangle. I'll double tap that clip. It looks like the text will fit inside the red rectangle perfectly. I'll tap on the text to select it. And then type the word subscribe. Then I'll tap Done, and I'll change the font to make it something a little bigger and easier to see. That looks good. Next, I'll resize the word Subscribe so that it fits inside the red rectangle a little bit better. There we go. Now it fills the red rectangle nicely. I'll select frame and fit and I have to animate the subscribe text just like I did the red rectangle. So I'll tap on cropping
I will crop the text from the right until it disappears. Then I'll go back to the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe. I'm going to play the clip until the red rectangle reappears. Then I will undo the crop by sliding the right slider back to the white notch so you can see the word subscribe. Let's take a look at that in the preview window. That's perfect. The animation matches up. The next thing you'll want to do is cut all of your layers to make them a bit shorter and then play it again. That's still perfect. I'm going to save this clip to my camera roll so I don't have to repeat the keyframe animation backwards. I'll tap on the share icon, tap movie, and then choose photos, and tap the share icon once more. The clip has been saved to my camera roll. I'll play the clip, and then insert another copy of the clip I just saved, right after the first one. Put it in the main timeline, and play it once more. Notice that the clip repeats. This is fine. Double tap the clip you just added, and then select Speed and Reverse. Tap on the Reverse switch. This will play the clip backwards. This may take a few moments. Wait until it's done. And then back out to the preview window. Now play the entire clip. There's the logo that appears, and it disappears. Rather than repeat the keyframe animation, I just reversed the clip. Save this clip once more. You may be wondering why I added the blue background. I've added my logo with a video track underneath. You can see the subscribe logo, but not the video underneath. This is the reason why I added the blue shape. I need to double tap my subscribe logo to open the clip editor, and then select colors and effects, and tap on the key for chroma key. Because I added a blue shape, I can select the blue screen key. When I do, you'll notice that I can now see the video underneath. The next thing I need to do is adjust the sliders back to where the white dashes are. These are the recommended settings for the blue screen key. You can also use a green screen key if you have a green shape. Now watch what happens when I play the video. You can see the video and the subscribe logo at the same time, but it's in the wrong position. So I'll tap my subscribe logo one more time, select frame and fit, tap on size and position, and play the clip so I can see the red rectangle then I'll move and resize the red rectangle to the position where I want it. Just drag it down and pinch and zoom to shrink and resize the logo. There, it fits perfectly. Tap the back arrow to go back to the preview window and play the video once more. Don't forget to save your clip. 
I'll tap on the share icon, tap movie, and tap photos, and then tap the share icon once more. The saved clip can be found in my camera roll. Keep watching, thanks so much, and I'll definitely see you in the next video.